ya no me queda nada. Se acabó. Ahí es todo. So, we just got cut off. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we are in Merida. Still in Merida, been here for a little bit. Uh, kind of a little more ritzy area. Look at this house. There's some, uh, some very, very beautiful older homes and architecture, pretty cool here. So we're on our way to a place called, I believe it's called I believe that's how it's pronounced, but Buffet. So this is a buffet, buffet. It's more like an all you can eat. From my understanding, everything is made to order in downtown Merida. Kind of in like the main, main downtown, almost border, like arguably called the tourist area. Um, so I'm just walk in there. It's about an hour walk, but I need some exercise. Went for a run this morning as well. Luckily, I've been very thankful to be able to go to the gym the last week or so as well, which I really, really enjoy. It's great for my physical health, mental health, etc., etc. So yes, um, from my understanding of this buffet, again, I'm going to get some more details. I don't speak Spanish, I don't read Spanish, but you know, I can figure it out, not too bad. Uh, so it looks like we're gonna have like some enchiladas. Um, there's gonna be some, what they're calling kind of like stew tacos, I believe it is. Uh, but not like a birria, birria taco. Just hit my head. Um, but yeah, like, so I'm not, let's cross the road here real quick. So a number of different tacos, a number of different items. I know there's salads and stuff. It's supposed to be great. The reviews are really good. The food does look really nice. Again, it's all made to order. So even though it is a buffet, it is more like an all you can eat. Something that I would experience or I've seen it like an all you can eat sushi in North America. So we'll get you some more details. Uh, hopefully there's meat items. And if not, it's gonna be great either way. We'll have a lot of fun. And so the price of it is, I believe it's a hundred and either 20 pesos or 140 pesos. So again, I'll get you the details, guys. But let's go have some fun. <laughs> Buffet, Merida, let's go eat. So here on one of the most like main drags, again, I don't want to say tourist area, but touristy area, but they have some huge houses on the street. Like these ones here, these are called the twin houses. Um, obviously, you know, I think they've had better days, but it's pretty cool. There's another massive one over here. In fact, there's houses and building like that all along the street. One thing I have noticed, today is Boxing Day, December 26th, and Compared to like a week ago, I was here like about a week ago, there is way, way, way more tourists, like visible tourists, visible, you know, we'll say, uh, yeah, visible tourists, definitely a lot more um, compared to like a week ago, which makes sense, Christmas holiday, so I guess there's a lot of people down here for Christmas, and I can see why, beautiful weather. Another thing I found super cool is there is much, much, much more Christmas spirit down here, like I said, like, look at this tree, look at the size of this. There's no, you know, evergreen Christmas trees really down here like that so they have a big artificial one but I will say the amount of Christmas decorations the amount of monumental sculptures the size and it's been very impressive so Christmas is definitely a big thing here and everything was definitely closed yesterday all right so we just arrived in here it's a quaint little spot I just also got a haircut the best four dollar haircut I've ever had um, so here's a menu, so the buffet is basically like made to order, so yeah, menu, you pick what you want, these are vegetarian, these are meat, um, so we have different kinds of pork, chicken, etc. And you can pick if you want them as like a taco, a quesadilla, um, et cetera, torta, like etc, etc. So I ordered two of each of, as a taco, and we'll start with that and go from there. Alright, so here we got the first few tacos. This looks like all of them have rice on it and then some different meats. This is definitely something with onions. 
Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are here eating some Mexican cuisine, some Mexican food, and some really good quality food at that. Um, there is a little bit of a mishap going to happen, let's just say, being specifically, well, let's just get to the story. So here we are guys for the all you can eat. They call it a buffet, but it's really just an all you can eat. You choose what you want to order just off the menu, and uh, they bring it to you as such. This one just tastes refreshing, that's how I describe it. So as we saw, we started off with an order of tacos just to kind of try the little different varieties out. Um, they did have rice on them. This was the first time I saw tacos coming with rice on them in Mexico here. I'm not sure if they were necessarily just using it kind of as, I'll use it like a filler per se, you know, adding a little bit more weight, um, hoping to cut the cost of the more expensive items like the meat. But nonetheless, it had uh, rice on the tacos. And yeah, I mean, but overall though, the flavors were very, very tasty. Um, they did have a little bit of a uh, salsa there, like a chili sauce. And this is like the chicharron, this is just pork, pretty plain. All right, second round, we have pork with green salsa. We have the chili reneo, which is a fried pepper. We have eggs, and then we have a potato taco. The tacos I didn't try in the first order, I gotta try here. In the first order I had like the uh, the mole, I had the tinga de chicken, the tinga de pollo, um, which the mole was really, really good. The tinga was kind of like a bit of a chili chicken. Then there's also the uh, one uh, chicharron, the one pork. Um, but this version here, or this tray here, um, things were, you know, this had the more interesting chicharron, which I'll talk about here in a moment. So I had the uh, potato tacos, which were fair. Um, I mean, it was potatoes on tacos, it's not, you know, what I would generally put on a taco, but they did have some seasoning to them. We had then the ones with the eggs, which were also pretty cool. First time I ever had eggs on tacos. Um, it's exactly what you would expect. Then uh, here we had the uh, getting into the more interesting ones, um, at least for myself. I have some jalapeno. Jalapeno? 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 And so I gotta have what was a chili renero, renero. I, I'm, I'm butchering the pronunciation. Um, my Mexican pronunciations are not great, I will admit. But uh, chili renero, reneo, um, which I've also uh, heard about before but never had. Um, essentially a deep fried uh, jalapeno, which was really, really cool. And here, this is the chicharron salsa verde. So this is legit, I like a chicharron, like almost a potato chip. So the actual pork skin, which then was in a salsa verde. So that was pretty unique. So getting into our third round of tacos, I had the mixed vegetables, I had the tikka de pollo, I had the chili con mole, and the cero de manzanilla, or manzanilla de cero, uh, which again is another kind of pork. Um, so if you haven't or aren't able to tell, I really like tacos, and so the fact that they essentially had the all-you-can-eat tacos, that was something I definitely wanted to utilize and monopolize on. Again, to this point, um, I really liked all the meats, they were all excellent, and what was really cool is actually I was able to ask for the tacos without rice, which I did, um, hence no rice on these tacos, although they didn't offer uh, necessarily any vegetables in them uh, per se. Delicious, and I was able to ask for them without rice, which is super cool. But like I said, the mole was very delicious, um, the uh, manzanilla de cero, and the uh, tinga de pollo was definitely, I'd say, my three favorites. But like I said, all of them really good, really well sauced, the flavors were excellent. I don't know if they made the sauces here themselves, but I do know that pretty much everything else was homemade in-house. Here we got a sopa, which is like a tortilla with, I believe it's beans in it, and then it's cooked. And then it is the uh, tinga de pollo, which is the spicy chicken I like. And then we have a, a lettuce and a sour cream and a queso fresco. We then had a sopa, which is the first time I had a sopa. Um, really, really cool. It's kind of like basically refried beans and two tortillas. Um, it's kind of a cool dish. I uh, never had it before. And you know, you're starting to get to just the menu. The menu is basically enchiladas, sopas, tacos, and tortas. So warm tortillas, we had chicken on the inside, we have the mole on top, which is sweet. It has a little spice to it, not like spice, not like picante, not spice, spice, but spice. Then the uh, cream cheese, or sour cream, queso fresco, and lettuce. 
Then here we had some enchiladas, which was recommended to me by one of the staff, um, and it is a poyoka mole, so chicken and mole, which if you're not familiar with mole, okay, oh my gosh, guys, it is so, 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 so good. I love mole. Mole is like at least this mole. At least this mole was absolutely delicious. This is my first time actually having a legit Mexican mole, maybe mole at all in general, which if you're not familiar, some people either kind of love it or they hate it. And the reason being, because there's actually chocolate in it. So it's a spicy, not like heat temperature spicy as I described, but like a very flavorful um, spiced chocolate sauce, essentially. So the chocolate just provides a little bit of like a dynamic. It's kind of a mild, like it's a, that's definitely a back note, but it provides a nice sweetness, a nice consistency, almost that of chocolate. Chicharron cansada. So after that, I decided to have a couple more of the tacos. Um, this was the uh, other chicharron, chicharron pasada, so they called it, um, which to me was not, I wouldn't call it like a chicharron. Like the chicharron and the chicharron uh, salsa verde was legit like the pork skin, whereas this was more just kind of like a chopped seasoned pork. Um, I don't recall if I asked for the tacos without rice, but I got them with rice nonetheless. So totally fine, totally cool. And I ordered another dish of the chili, uh, or sorry, the uh, mole enchiladas, because they were delicious, guys. The chicken inside the warm flour our tortillas covered in that mole, a little bit of the lettuce on top adds a little bit of texture. The uh, I don't really I didn't really notice too much of the queso fresco and or the sour cream on top, but man, that mole was so dang good. Like I said, big mole fan right here. Definitely, again, my really only my first time that I remember having mole. Um, first time, like I said, may have had it since, but this was absolutely delicious. Really enjoyed the flavor, and uh, like I said, to the point the you know to this point the food had all been great. The staff have been very kind, very friendly, and uh, we were you know working it out very well, and uh, I was definitely enjoying my experience here. So I had a couple more of the sopas with my favorite chicken that they had there. Um, that being said, they at this point they did start to tell me certain things were running out. So like I'd at order something and they said they didn't have it or they just wouldn't give it to me nonetheless. Tacos. No rice. So then I ordered another two tacos, and they came out looking like this, which was much smaller than what I previously had been receiving. So I ordered a few more tacos, but this time I ordered the vegetable tacos. And they still seem to be coming out quite a bit smaller, or at least smaller, than what I was being served at the start of my visit to this restaurant. Gorditas? And this was a salsa verde chicharron quesadilla. So the uh, gorditos, gorditas, um, it was kind of like the sopas, but kind of like a sopa sandwich. It was really cool. I enjoyed it. And then I got one of these uh, quesadillas as per the recommendation, again, a staff member. I will say, like I said, just with the tacos I had earlier with the uh, salsa, ver the chichar salsa verde, chicharron salsa verde, um, it was very interesting. And this is when I like actually looked at it and I was like, oh wait, this actually is like chicharron is in like the fried pig skin. Again, some of the other tacos, which they referred to as a chicharron, definitely was more like meat. Whereas this was legit um, a very soft kind of gelatinous, uh, we'll say piece of pork or pork skin, chicharron, kind of like a moistened and or wet version of a chicharron that you would get in like a potato chip bag. That's what was essentially it. However, it had rehydrated in the salsa verde. Um, like I said, it was interesting, it was my favorite, but the gorditas I liked. And I had the pollo con mole in the gordito. And with the overall positive experience, it was getting weird how the portions kept getting smaller and smaller to the last couple portions being very small, which all seemed pretty weird, but ultimately, I guess, you know, they seemed to actually be either running out of food or they just didn't want to feed me anymore, um, which brings us to this point right here. What, 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 what do you have? So of course there was a little bit of a language barrier, but from my understanding, essentially the gentleman was saying they're all out of everything, um, and they're all out of food. Um, so yeah, that was kind of it. <laughs> Uh, 
So, anyway. And so like I said, seemingly they ran out of food or they cut us off uh, for some other reason. If somebody speaks Spanish, let me know down below. Maybe you can interpret the situation a little bit better. But yes, I think we kind of ate them out of food. Um, definitely a difficult situation. Let me know how you react down below. Again, I have no hard feelings against anybody here at the restaurant. They treated me very well. I would still recommend the place. We just happened to get cut off this day and or they ran out of food because we ate it all. So let me know, like I said, what you would do in this situation down below. And uh, yeah, kind of a weird one. It's uncomfortable but we got cut off at a buffet. So apparently they're out of food. So, waiting for my Uber. We got an ice cream cone at Burger King. I guess they have Burger King, McDonald's, etc. down here. So, I'm always so pressed when this happens. I don't know if I want to disclose the, like, I don't want to disclose the name of the location because I don't want to give them bad publicity. Overall, it treated me very, very well. Just unfortunate that things had to come to such an abrupt uh, and unfortunate ending. That being said, I will say everything was good. That was the whole interaction. So besides the very suspicious and abrupt ending, you know, I appreciate the food, the hospitality. Yes, I tipped them well. Yes, I paid. Um, but that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know down below what you think. And that, everybody, till next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and of course, happy eating. I also got myself a chocolate donut. Gotta try one while I'm here in Mexico. They sell them in all the bakeries, the panerias. So they're very light, like, like the, the weight. The weight is very light. It's pretty chewy. It does remind me more of the texture of bread. Definitely more like bread than a donut I'm used to. So pretty dense, pretty chewy. Definitely not very sweet compared to North American standards. But it's not horrible. The way I describe it though is bread with a little bit of very light tasting chocolate glaze on top. It cost about 50 cents, so it's not too bad. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload. And hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically picked two videos, yes that's right, two videos specifically for you, right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end, so click one quick. Let's go, let's go, and have a great day.